In her younger days, Marilyn Bancroft took up painting as a hobby with her husband. Now as she nears the end of her life, she's found a new passion and purpose for her art. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in Pinellas Park, where Marilyn has traded in her brushes for needles and her paintings for blankets. Yeah, this is the start of it. In a room full of crafters. Oh, they're just plain loops. Marilyn Bancroft may be the craftiest. She said she doesn't know how to teach, but you can sure learn a lot from her. She's got a great sense of humor. She's just very giving and fun to be around. Even after all these years. Sometimes I think of 92. Nobody lives to 92. She's always been creative but well, hasn't always crocheted. It's all according who's doing it. <laughs> it looks hard to me. It Marilyn picked well, up this hobby up later yet. in life. Why am I doing it? Because I found out there was a need. Gives it away. She's a giver. She loves to give. Her handmade blankets end up in the hands of mothers. It, and this is baby yawn. Saying goodbye to their newborns. Hospice patients that won't make it, but do get a chance to snuggle thanks to Marilyn's creation. She's a wonderful person. She could use the sewing machine, but Marilyn says she needs the needle. She doesn't really remember how long she's been crocheting, but she definitely knows why she's crocheting. These blankets are going to babies. Some are sick and some have already passed away, but she leaves a note on every one of her creations. This one reads, this small blanket is for a child who's in my prayers for a complete recovery. God will bless all who are caring for this little one. Appropriate words considering Marilyn is caring through crocheting. All they got to do is bury them, and they're not even formed yet. It's very sad that with this little with the babies, yet somebody has to do it. On the road in Pinellas Park. My favorite thing to make is anything that looks good when it's finished. I'm Bobby Lewis, 10 News. They all look good when they're finished. Marilyn crochets the blankets at the Suncoast Hospice Pace Center. And she knows what it's like to lose a child. She lost her daughter 14 years ago. She hopes her blankets help cheer up families going through similar heartache.